Hey everybody, what's going on? Jermaine is probably here back again with another awesome video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you're able to download Fortnite on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Now, Fortnite has been available for Samsung for quite some time, but if you forgot to download Fortnite, or maybe you have never played it before, or maybe you wanna get into it, maybe you're brand new to the Samsung family, these are the steps of getting Fortnite on your Samsung devices. First, you wanna head inside of your application tray, and then on the very top where you see those three little dots, click there and head inside of Galaxy Essentials. Now, this is not just on the Play Store. Uh, you would have to go inside of the Samsung Galaxy Store, which is right here, and then you'd wanna search for Fortnite. Now, really what you're doing is you're downloading a Fortnite installer. So again, at any point in time, if there's any type of update, you would wanna go inside of this installer to do any updates inside of the game, because again, you can't go into the Play Store to pretty much find this application or game. Now, once you've downloaded the Fortnite installer, you'll open this up, and then this is what will give you your game. And so inside of here, we're gonna go down and hit on download. We'll go to continue, allow, and then this right here is actually what is installing the game. This first thing that you've downloaded is the installer not the game itself, which this could have been a little confusing at the very beginning and get-go, but this is how Samsung was able to exclusify this game onto the Samsung uh, ecosystem. Once downloaded and installed, you can hit on the launch button and there will be a app icon that will also be placed inside of your application tray to get you into this application. Uh, so right now it's just stating that you are about to download the game. And so you can either do this with Wi-Fi or with your normal mobile data, but Wi-Fi could be maybe just a little bit better and or faster. After the game has downloaded, it will also do an installing and initializing. After everything got installed and downloaded, this is where you're able to choose if you already have an account or if you'd like to create a new one. So here I've already had one from before and I'm going to sign in either through, you can do it through Epic Games, Facebook, Google, PlayStation, Xbox Live, or Nintendo Switch. Then you'll accept the end user agreement, and there you go. Now you have Fortnite all downloaded. Once you're logged in, or if you're creating an account, then this is where, depending on which Samsung device you have, you can accept and get and download um, special outfits and everything else, along with special emotes. Now, this is also where you're able to choose how you would like to fire your weapon. You can have an auto fire, tap anywhere or the dedicated button now anytime that i've ever played this but this game um, this one over here states that it's recommended for auto fire but for me i would like to tap anywhere on the screen for this to be done uh, then you just hit on select if you change your mind later you can also go into the hud layout tool uh, button and it's the options menu which you'll be able to change it so there's a few things that i would probably suggest to do that you can change um, and actually this beginning video is something new that I haven't seen just yet. So this is something that was uh, brand new at least um, back when I was playing probably a few months ago. <laughs> what is this? Now when you do have the game downloaded and you're looking to get back into the game, you'll notice that you'll have two different icons. This one is going to be Fortnite, the game itself, and then this one is Fortnite installer. So one of the things that I would kind of suggest is taking this installer and moving it up to the Samsung folder. So then this way you're not gonna be confused. You don't have to have two different icons to say Fortnite. But when you do have to do any type of updates, make sure you you know periodically go inside of that Fortnite installer, open it up and see if there's any type of updates because this right here is the installer and it's also the application to use to update Fortnite itself. Now, when you do want to play the game, just hit on Fortnite, the icon right there, the application, and this is what it gets you into. So that's just one thing I suggest is kind of differentiating the two different icons that you may see between Fortnite and Fortnite installer. And also uh, a really big tip, if you notice you get into Fortnite through the app icon, but it states that it cannot open or there's an error, that means you have to go into the installer and update the game. And so this one right here, uh, Epic Games, a special event just started. Complete these challenges before it ends uh, so you can collect and move on. So one item was collected. Season 9 Battle Pass. Let's see here. Here's the Season 9 Battle Pass, giving you a little bit more information. Uh, so you can go to back. So I'm going to hit over there. Um, and then this is also where you'd be able to purchase different things. Um, you'd be able to go inside of your challenges. This one is a compete 
This one is your locker. So originally you could see that I already have the Galaxy skin. Um, and then I also have uh, the back bling as well. Let's see if I go out of this, then you can see uh, my pickaxe. So this one is the harvesting tool, um, which is the stellar axe. And then right next to that one, this one is the discovery. So uh, my glider. So this was the um, the special things that I got from before with the outfits and everything else. Um, then what you're able to do is on the top, on the right hand side, that little, uh, the little menu, the lines, the three lines right there. Inside of here, this is where you can go inside of your, your HUD layout. And so this is where if you need to make any changes, you can um, with all these different buttons and everything else. So um, it's kind of up to you on how you would like to customize your screen. And then you can also go to uh, right over here is your change fire. So this is where you can tap anywhere. Uh, you can also go inside of the, um, the custom for the auto fire, tap anywhere and dedicated button. And so that's really kind of all you really need to kind of look at over here on, you know, setting up a few different things. Right over here is your main screen. You can see that I don't really play too much. Um, but in the next video, I am going to show you how you're able to get the iconic outfit along with uh, the scenario emote. So if you guys are interested in that one, make sure you guys go to the very next video. I'll be shooting that here in just one second. Other than that, I hope you guys have liked this video. Download Fortnite if you have not yet already. It is a pretty fun game. And I believe there's also the compatibility to use also a uh, controller. So if you have an Xbox One S controller, you can also use that. That was something that used to be um, kind of frowned upon in the past but now it was added in to where you are able to actually use it, but you play against other players with controllers. So you will not be playing with people using the touch screen on the mobile devices, which is how they kind of brought it back. Other than that, hopefully you guys like this video, give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on the subscribe button. You can subscribe right over here, this very bottom left-hand side, the little red circle. Share this video with your friends and family, and I'll see you guys later.